Hello everyone and welcome to the Nerds Archive. I am the Nerd and today I am finally, finally reviewing the 11th Doctor's BC Sonic Screwdriver and this thing is just wow. Honest to God, it really, really is. So, do you know what? I don't even know where to start with this thing. So I'm just going to, uh, I have got a bit of a, a plan for reviewing it. Um, only because this thing deserves, it doesn't just deserve a quick uh, slap dash, here it is, have a look, this is what it does, goodbye. It deserves a bit of uh, a bit of love and care into this video, just like uh, the, the love and care it received when being made. So, yeah, here it is, guys. Uh, just off the bat, I'm going to say, well, first of all, I'm going to apologise for the uh, filming conditions. I am so sorry, I need to get a better camera, better space, and when I do... I will uh, do a review on all of my Sonics, including this, with better quality. But I just want to get this uh, get this out there and just uh, give it all the love and appreciation it deserves. So yeah, here it is. It's the uh, 11th Doctor's Sonic. And it, off the bat, just reminds me so much of the V1. Which, to this day, I still haven't, uh, haven't held. But just from... Uh, cosmetic look how, how it looks just from seeing it well, let me just uh... so I think the first thing we'll talk about is uh... there it is, is the box so let's have a look the BC 11th comes with this beautiful uh, wooden box which has been painted by Brin himself and I love this box so much for the simple reason of it just looks exactly like the box that Matt Smith had when he was given his Sonic on his last day of filming. Uh, when you open it, the Sonic is sitting very lovely in there. Again, this box and the stand just remind me so much of the V1, which is an item I never got. And um, it comes with a spare red emitter there with no swirls, but that just that honestly doesn't bother me. And uh, the battery, and it takes, uh, well, this one I'm trying to find the ace, but I can't. Uh, focus, come on, focus. The MN21-23, or the, that's a 12V. I'm sorry about the terrible camera quality there. But yeah, so it fits lovely in there. And as you can see on the box, mine is number 6 out of 10. So speaking of the battery, let's put the battery in and take a look at what this bad boy can do. So it's very, very much like the CT. And I know Brynn's probably going to hate me for saying that. What I mean is the battery compartment is just a nice, simple unscrew. Compared to the rubber toe, this is nice and uh, uh, and wider, thicker and just stronger. No 3D um, printed battery compartment, which is something, as much as I love the rubber toe, it's not something that I'm a fan of, as it, it's just another worry of... Uh, will it crack because mine did and once it happens i'm still i'm just very cautious of it so yeah you get the little battery here and just slide it in no problem screw it back on so it does remind me of my days of owning the ct where you just slide the battery in and it's perfect ready to rock and roll so here i am now next to my cabinet and holding it in the hand it just absolutely feels amazing. Um, as you can see, I, I spin it because it makes that beautiful rattle. Because uh, this one, yeah, see that the others, nope, nope, uh, nope. But this one, and I know uh, some people don't like that about their Sonic, but that little rattle there just means it just sounds like it does on the show. I know the sounds on the show are edited, but it's amazing. It honestly is amazing. So, never mind that. Uh, it's very nice button. The button is very easy to press, um, as you can literally rest this on something and it'll activate. Compared to the CT and the rubber toe, they do require a bit of but this. Just a nice, very light, and it's working. So, we've all seen before the classic... But something you haven't seen is if you press the button three times and hold it down on the third. Oh, yes, there it is. I still love that. The beautiful red setting with hardly any effort, guys. And then something else. 
if you just uh, leave it alone for 10 seconds after you have changed it, whether it's to mute it or change the LED, after 10 seconds it will do a little green flicker, like so, which now confirms that this is now the default setting. So if I was to take the battery out, put it back in, it will stay on this. So very simple again, one, two, three, and it's back to green, boom. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And again, just leave it for a couple of seconds and it will just uh, flicker back to green. There we go, beautiful. Another amazing little feature about this Sonic is that not only does it have the ability to change its LED color, but it can also mute itself. That's right, you can deactivate the sound so it is just as close to the prop as, as anything. So to do so, you press the button four times. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there you go, <laughs> that's saying that there'll be no sound. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And just like the red setting, after a couple of seconds, a little light will flicker to confirm that it is now set to mute mode. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Now, yes, of course, I know the next question that you're going to be asking is how does the Sonic flick? Well, to be totally honest, out of the CT and the rubber toe, the wand company, I would have to say that the BC 11th Doctor Sonic truly has the best flick. Absolutely amazing. And you can see the lovely, if I hold it under the light, the beautiful swirls in there. Much more uh, fuller than the rubber toe. Absolutely. And truly, for taking my shots on Instagram, the way how the light reflects up the resin on this thing is just superb. There it is. Absolutely amazing. Of course, it is very strong, so holding it upside down and giving it a shake, and it will open a little tiny bit. I am shaking it quite hard, but basically what I'm trying to say is, is that it's, you can hold this Sonic upside down and uh, it will not, dropping it straight down, it will not open. It will not open. There we go, see? I just had to put it down properly with uh, both my hands, but it is not coming down when closed properly. Beautiful. And of course, just like the original prop replica itself, guys, it does extend with the thumb. Absolutely amazing. Sonic does come with this beautiful little bow, bow tie stand here. And uh, just like Nick's, it is signed by Bryn himself. And it's, I mean, just look at that, it's a bow tie. How fantastic is that, guys? Just uh, the imagination of Bryn is, is legendary. So, yes, you can have it so it sits down, as you just saw. Or, nice and snugly, sits in there beautifully. Boom. Really happy with it. Really happy with it. So, yes, yes, I know, you all want to know which one is better, which one is the most superior. But if I'm honest, guys, if you're looking for that answer, you've come to the wrong place because it's something that I just cannot simply answer. These Sonics are fantastic, beautiful items for many, many different reasons. Um, yeah, so the rubber toe itself is just elegance. Um, it's just beauty with all the uh, the detail with the with the red button here, with the uh, the swirls in there. As I can, as you can see, as I said, it's not as full as the BC. Um, whereas the BC is just power. It's just absolutely power. It's it's really strong. Um, the flick is just amazing. Um, I can't I can't fault that flick. So yeah, in fact, do you know what I'll do? Do you know what I'll do? I'll uh, flick them both just so you can hear for yourself. You can see that just goes in. So here's the uh, the rubber toe. Make sure I don't hit the table. But here's the rubber toe. Give it a nice flick, and it's a nice little click. Put that down there. Get the BC, and I'll give it a flick, and it's a clack. So you've got a click and a clack. <laughs> um, oh, please don't tell me I've just started a new hashtag with that. 
So, yeah, and, and if you can agree with me, you can see the V1. It's okay if you don't, I just see the V1, um, and as someone who missed out on that, it's uh, it's really cool. So yeah, this isn't the place where we're going to talk about which one is better. Um, I, there are pictures on my Instagram which compares them both, and I know, I know. There are, there are some parts on the BC that's bigger and smaller than the prop itself, but the thing is, guys, is that the prop itself... I've made myself, I feel like I've made myself very clear with screen accuracy. Um, for me, 100% screen accuracy isn't the aim of the game. It's it's cool. If I've got something that's 100% screen accurate, I'm happy. That's, that's, that's amazing. But for me, guys, it's, uh, it's the love and the passion. And I know that a lot of people argue, ignore that. I know that a lot of people will argue... Um, the love and the love and the passion, the love and the passion is there when they're focusing on screen accuracy. But you got to remember, particularly with this prop, um, it was always changing. It was always changing from the first moment Matt Smith held it because of how it was built differently on the inside. It, it split into two pieces, so Nick had to change the way how it was put together. Um, I know he he. he did, he only had a short time to to create it in the first place for Matt, um, but a lot of people that that very first version that got split into two people into two pieces, focus on that as the screen accuracy screen accuracy. But it's changed and uh, it's still changing because the way how this one here is put together is different to how they were put together for the show. For instance, a lot of this on the inside has got three D printed parts, which weren't. I, d I don't believe if I'm wrong, please somebody let me know down below. That wasn't the case. Um, but, I mean, the BC, you can clearly see what it is. It's it's a beautiful sonic screwdriver. You have here the elegance, the fine detail, and then here you have the bulk. This is the, this is the sonic. Um, it doesn't have uh, an end cap button, which for me is refreshing, as all of my 11s have had that button, and... As someone that can't resist picking them up and giving them a flick every now and again, it's another worry. It's another concern. Um, I'll see if I can show a picture. When I first got my CT, the end cap was was out. Um, from my Rubber Tire Replicas review, you can see the magnet was coming out of my um, 11th. So, yeah, not having an end cap really doesn't bother me. Um, it's not something that I'm gutted over oh it would have been cool if there'd have been one there but uh this for me i oh, have no complaints i don't mind that at all I, I love it i love being able to pick it up and give it a toss and not worry if the end cap is still attached um but yeah so just absolutely incredible i absolutely adore them both for many reasons i adore being able to give this one a polish make sure it's all working sound and smoothly and put it on display I love being able to just drop the battery into this one and give it a flick and change the settings and, uh, you know, put it in my breast pocket, which is something I don't do. I've only ever done that once with this one when I wanted to take some pictures of it in the snow. And even though it was cool to know what was in my pocket, I still worried about it. This one, no way. I just felt bad ass. I had it in my breast pocket, went to the shop, um, bought some stuff, walked back and... It was it was a really cool thing, guys. A really cool thing. This for me is amazing because it just celebrates what a fan can do. Um, honest to God, if I just get here, it is. <laughs> so I I absolutely love 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 um, fan made things because I've got the Hush Ninja Poker Ball. I've got no doubt in my mind that Nick is a fan because. Uh, he, he continues to build these Sonics, to evolve on these Sonics. I have no doubt that the version the version 3 will be completely different in some way, shape or form. Um, but the, the BC was made by a, a, a fan who had the equipment and just thought, why the hell not? Why the hell not? And he created this little masterpiece here. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So, uh, as I said before, this was the best and worst Sonic that I have ever had to wait for, guys. 
uh, the best because of what it was. I knew it was fundamentally the, the best 11th Sonic I was ever going to get. And there were absolutely no videos on it anywhere. There was no videos, no pictures. All we had was the, the few pictures that Bryn had on his Instagram. Uh, the couple that he put on his story, which should be playing now, if I've got my timings right. <laughs> it was just an absolute thrill to to receive and to, to hold. I was just so amazed by it. I didn't, I haven't. When I first got it, I did not put it down for a week. And I had Bryn message me saying it was perfectly shiny when I when it left me. And it's all grubby there. And I said, mate, that, that's because I've not put it down. I really haven't put this thing down. It's absolutely amazing. It's uh it's spot on. It's it's spot on. And like I said, it's it's not better than the it's not better than the rubber toe. It's not worse than the rubber toe. They're just two incredible, incredible sonics that have got power and brilliance in different places and in a lot of places the same because uh, it's also heavier as well which is which is cool you have the bulk and the elegance and that's the best way i can explain it both awesome awesome little 11th doctor sonics that i will treasure and pass on and i would not i would not part with either of them for anything in the world so i asked Bryn. i thought i'd uh ask him some questions about how he you know why he built why he wanted to build his own sonic uh how he went about doing it any last minute decisions what he wanted to achieve with it uh whether he wanted it to be the strongest or the most accurate um and if he had any future projects coming up in the future i asked him why he wanted to make this sonic and he told me that he bought himself once a second hand ct and some of the uh, claw springs which hold the claws open had broke um he then started to take it apart uh, and while he was repairing it, he started to have. He, while he was repairing it, he started to have some doubts about how the Sonic was put together. After doing some research, he just became more and more disappointed with it. Uh, so he decided it would be a more worthwhile experience to create his own, and he was not wrong, <laughs> because not only did he create his own, he also made a set of uh, ten. To then send out to other people. Uh, the plan was to make a Sonic that was stronger, um, multifunctional, which this thing is. It can change, it can mute, um, for a much more cheaper price. Again, this Sonic is pr probably the best Sonic um, that I've held and used. And at the same time, guys, it's the cheapest. It really, really is. Um, it said that he started measuring out uh, some of the pieces from the CT. Uh, he also, we, which we can see on his Instagram, he three D printed all the parts to put together to see if he could do it, which uh, which he did. I just want to make sure I'm getting everything here. Uh, yeah, so obviously that was all made from resin. The plan was then to to turn it into metal, which he successfully did. He did make um, a version of the bow tie stand where it had Gallifrey and symbols on it, but I think there was something about it that he wasn't quite happy with. So he reprinted them and we got these and uh, yeah, Gallifrey symbols would have been cool. But honest to God, it doesn't doesn't bother me. I love, love this little stand. It's so clever and so <laughs> it's just really fun. Just honestly, really fun. I love this little bow tie stand. I really do. Uh, so then I asked him, what would you like people to think of this Sonic? Like if if. If this Sonic was to succeed the way he wanted it to, what do you want people to take away from it? Um, he said, I'd like to think that the electrics are something unique. I like to think that people will will like the build quality as well. Yep, tick, tick. Um, as well, And hopefully like the fact that it's got a solid flick. And yeah, yes, mate. Honestly, yes, mate. It's... As I say, like sometimes because this on the rubber toe isn't a real grub screw, it's just cosmetic. Sometimes this section can be a little bit wobbly. That's not the case with this. The the grub screw, I believe, is is real. Holds it all into place. It is very 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 strong. Don't fall down now. <laughs> Sleep like that. It is very very strong. Yeah, and you absolutely smashed it, mate. You absolutely smashed it. Um. Yeah, well done. Well done, Bryn. I can't stop singing your praises, mate. I, I know. I know what you're all thinking. 
you're all thinking, wow, what a show off. Uh, all right, calm down, mate. What's the point in showing us something that we, we can't get? Because, uh, you know, this is one of ten and I will always, always be um, honoured because when Bryn is out there being a huge success making not just uh, the 11th Sonics but all the Sonics and people are going to him when uh, uh, Bryn and Nick have made their own company together and they're both successful prop makers and I know he's probably going to be cringing at this <laughs> telling me to shut up but when uh, when he's just one of the most successful prop makers on the planet I'm going to be honoured that I've got one of the first 10 of his 11th run so I asked him, have you got any future projects? And uh, he said, I've got, he's got a few personal lines up. He wants to repair his, his own TARDIS. Because, yeah, not only does he build Sonics, he built his own TARDIS. What a legend. Um, so, yeah, why are you showing us this video? You're only making us jealous. We can never get one. Well, well, guys, Bryn has kindly given me permission to confirm he will be doing another 10 of the Sonics. So if you like what you've seen, if you like this video, I can't imagine you would because the filming quality has been terrible. I need a better space and a better camera. But if you think this Sonic is awesome, it's it's strong, the the multifunctions are just amazing. It's got a red setting without having to change the emitter. It can mute itself. It is everything I've ever wanted in a Sonic. The box, the bow tie start. Guys, Britain's gonna do another 10. So if you want one of these Sonics, as I say, don't pester, right? Don't pester, don't pester Nick, don't pester Bryn, don't pester anybody because these things are not easy to make. But if you would like one of these things, I recommend that you head over to Bryn's Instagram. I'll put that down below so it should be there. You head over there, you send him a message, say, Bryn, you're amazing. Give him all the love you've got. Bryn, you're such a legend. Could you please, please, please put my name down for one of these? And even if you're watching this video and there's already been 20 views and Britain's already got 20 names on the list, just still put your name down, guys, because, you know, he might do another 10 after that. Um, if he doesn't, because I, I don't want to speak for him because this is his little project, it's his business, but um, people drop out quite a lot. This Sonic came... It, for me, it rounded off to five hundred pound, um, and that's a lot of money five hundred quid, especially if uh, if you're you're not working at the minute because of the the current situation. But people people do drop out, so you could be eleventh and think, oh, I'm, I'm I've missed by one person, and then someone could drop out for some reason. We we don't know, but yeah, all I'm saying is if you want one, head over to Bryn's Instagram, send him a message, say Bryn, you're a legend, Bryn, you're fantastic, your Sonic is amazing. Please put one eye down if you make another 10. Um, there is something else, but I don't want to... As I say, I don't want to speak on behalf of Bryn, as this is his project. But yeah, uh, honestly, guys, absolutely love this thing. We're going to blow up the submarine. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, do it. And that lip that's just to tell me it's now back on mute. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I just, this is honest, honestly, the best 11th I have ever held um, with hardly any effort. <laughs> it's just, it just, it's it's everything I've ever wanted in an, in an 11th and, and more and more because you have the box, which is just like the one Matt Smith had. You've got the fantastic little bow tie stand. It, it does everything we've seen it do on the show except well not everything it doesn't actually work as a sonic it doesn't do the little sound when you when you flick it but yeah it just honest to god it is a wonder and next to my rubber toe they are two magnificent parts of my collection 
which I want to, I love them both. I cannot say which is my favourite. To ask which is the favourite is to ask what the Doctor's real name is. There, there just isn't an answer because they're both fantastic little replicas and I'm so honoured to own them both. I will treasure them both. Um, so not only you have the last run of this version two, so if you want one of them, head over to Rubber Toe Replicas and quickly get one now. If you want one of these bad boys, head over onto Instagram to Bryn Carter's account. Um, you'll know him because he's the guy with the awesome police box, the awesome cosplay and the awesome Sonics. So you head over there, get your name down. And yeah, just absolutely best of luck to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm, I just love, I love this so much. And I love doing these videos as well. I just wish I had uh, more time, more space and better equipment to film it on. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. It really does mean the world to me. Um, yeah, all of you, wherever you are, stay safe, stay awesome. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. I have got some more stuff on the way. So I'll do my best to get them out to you as quick as possible because I, I know the, the gaps I leave between my videos is ridiculous. Thank you all once again. I, I really appreciate every single one of you. Nick, you're a legend. Bryn, you're a legend. And to all of you watching, you're all the best people in the universe. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. I'll see you later. Goodbye.